President Trump just announced Thursday that he will not sign a Senate-passed spending package that does not include border security funds, upending any negotiations to avert a government shutdown by the end of the week. I've made my position very clear. Any measure that funds the government must include border security, the president said Thursday during a White House event. House Speaker Paul Ryan and House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy told reporters after meeting with President at the White House that Trump told them he will not sign the stopgap spending measure approved by the Senate Wednesday night because of legitimate concerns for border security. What we're going to do is go back to the House and work with our members, Ryan said. We want to keep the government open, but we also want to see an agreement that protects the border. We have very serious concerns about securing our border. Fox News reported the House will try to amend the Senate bill with an additional five billion dollars for a border wall, as sought by President Trump. But it's unclear whether that would pass, and it would face an even tougher time in the Senate, with the clock ticking before a Friday shutdown deadline. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders made clear President Trump was renewing his demands on a border wall, saying after the meeting, "We protect nations all over the world, but Democrats are unwilling to protect our nation." We urgently need funding for border security, and that includes a wall. The House Republican Conference is ready to fight on the wall. Let's get the five billion dollar vote on the floor today. Representative Mark Walker tweeted. The conservative Republican Study Committee also called for Republicans to stand united in calling for funding for the border wall. One of our last acts of this Congress should be fulfilling this key mandate demanded by the American people. President Trump can only do so much. It's time the weasel Republicans to do something. They haven't accomplished one thing while in office. They continue to go against President Trump in every way possible. We shouldn't even have to fight about our nation's border security. Funding our security shouldn't be a problem. Why we must hold accountable every single person that is in office? It's not just President Trump. Some people seem to forget he's not the only one running the country. House Republicans talk about being frustrated with the president. Yet they haven't supported him. Maybe it's time they start fighting for the security of our nation instead of trying to sabotage the president. Read more on this story via Fox News. House Freedom Caucus Chair Mark Meadows, RN.C, told Fox News late Wednesday that the political fallout will start soon, and that Trump risks doing major damage to his re-election effort in 2020 if a spending deal without border funding is approved. When asked if the president should veto any stopgap funding bill that does not include money for the border wall, Meadows replied, "Yes." He added that the mistake Republicans had made was that we didn't bring up the bill last week when we had the votes. House Republicans, meanwhile, were generally frustrated about the lack of clarity from the president. One GOP member told Fox News there was a lack of direction, lack of message from the White House about what they are for and against. Republican members are worried about their political exposure if they relent after campaigning on building a wall. We stuck our neck out for border security, said one senior House Republican. Another source in the House GOP conference told Fox News that members want assurances from Trump on what he will or won't sign before they vote on anything. Signs of trouble emerged when a House Republican press conference was abruptly canceled Thursday morning. A lawmaker who was in Thursday morning's Republican conference meeting said Paul Ryan abruptly exited the meeting, telling members the president was on the phone. Moments later, he canceled what could have been his final press conference before leaving for the White House meeting.